Hi everyone, welcome to Casa del Nikki. I'm here with my good friends, my little sea cat, and we are enjoying a few beverages. Now I'm really excited to share with you two new recipes, so come on and join me in the kitchen and let's learn how to make some delicious cocktails for your holiday festivities. As you can see, we are in the holiday spirit here with all of the decorations. We got the ugly sweater on, although it's kind of cute, and of course we got the drink in hand. Now that is because tonight we're going to be doing two new recipes. One of them is my favorite recipe and that is spiced mulled wine. However, that's gonna be a little later. First, we're gonna be starting off with eggnog. Now if you guys know eggnog, it's pretty heavy, it's dense, but we've cleaned it up. So this eggnog is light, clean, and will make you feel great when you drink it. First we're gonna start off with three cups of unsweetened almond milk. We're just gonna pour that into our pot and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you're gonna put your honey, egg whites and egg, along with your cinnamon and nutmeg into your blender or a bowl and hand mix it. So after you've been stirring it, you're gonna add the vanilla extract and just mix it in. From there, you're gonna let it cool in the fridge. We just took the mixture out of the fridge. It's been in there for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to put in about a fourth of a cup of rum or brandy, or maybe a little bit more, depending on your choice and taste, of course. From there, you're just gonna stir it, make sure it's all combined, and then put it back in the fridge for another 20 to 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do for the coating of the top of the cup is take one candy cane and I smash it up into tiny little pieces. I dip the cup into a little bit of water and then into the candy mix. Flip it over and you're good to go. Ladle your mixture into the cup and top it with some fresh nutmeg and you are ready to go with your beautiful glass of clean, healthy eggnog. delicious and strong. <laughs> so now that we've finished with the eggnog, we're gonna be moving on to the mulled wine, and this is such a simple recipe. We're just gonna start with two cups of fresh orange juice, whether you buy it from a carton or you juice it yourself is fine. Next, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of maple syrup, three cinnamon sticks, and the recipe calls for star anise. However, I personally couldn't find any, so I just added one eighth of a teaspoon of star anise, and we're gonna be adding in one half of a nutmeg. All right, there we go. And then you're gonna add your cloves, and we're just gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes and then we add our wine in it. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is take one full bottle of beautiful red wine. I'm using Amarone, you can use whatever kind you want. We're gonna put it into our saucepan and let it simmer for another 30 minutes. So once your mixture has thickened up a little bit, it is ready to go. Now you can either strain it from here and add it all into a new bowl, or what I like to do is just serve it as is out of the pan. There you go, you have mulled wine and this is the perfect drink if it is cold outside, if you wanna warm your body or you're looking for a little clean treat alcoholic beverage. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think of the new recipes and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And of course, happy holidays.